Hi everyone, this is Brendan here and welcome to my next episode, day 3 of my Let's Clash series. So now I'm still upgrading a lot of walls, having a lot of gold stock up. And then now I'm just removing some uh, obstacles and now we will look at my base itself again. So as you can see, um, the clan castle has been upgraded to level 2. Having 15 slots in the clan castle is really nice. Having 5 more uh, strong troops available for me to use in the battles. So now upgrading our research lab to level 2 and proceeding on to doing other stuff. So buying more stuff from the shop itself, I'm buying an archer tower right now. As I did mention that it's important to have like even just a level 1 defense rather than having no defense at all. So if you take a look at my defenseless account, my second account, yeah, that's a defenseless account. When it goes offline, you just get uh, racked up the 100% uh, all the time. So uh, it's now just upgrading more walls. I did uh, stock up a lot of gold, went to do a lot of raids for this particular episode alone. And also in my previous episode, if you guys haven't watched, I did uh, do a lot of raids, high uh, resources raids. Although the resources ain't high, like a 400,000, 500,000, which you guys usually see when you guys are at Tahon 9 or 10. However, um, the resources are enough to fill my capacity to max. So now uh, collecting more gems from the achievement and then just proceeding to watch one of the attacks that I did. So the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this base was this guy probably was inactive because he didn't have a shield if you look on the top left there. Shield as in a badge. So some people call it shield, some people call it badge. Uh, depends on what you want to call it. For me, I call it a shield. So as you can see now the base there's no traps and also there are tombstones over there so meaning uh, the base has been attacked before and also the resources are all on the outside in the, in the collectors alone so yeah doing a three star with the minions that i was given was really nice then just uh, going back to our base alone uh looking at what to upgrade upgrading more walls again so um walls are really easy to upgrade now as it costs a uh, really cheap to upgrade as compared to next time when it costs like three million or four million per piece of wall so upgrading the gold storage because a uh, two hundred and seventy thousand capacity ain't enough for me to actually farm to uh, a lot of gold and then after that i have to wait for my builders so i'm trying to get my third builder as um it's not easy to get other than uh, you pushing your way to like a thousand two hundred and fifty trophies after which you will be able to get the uh, four hundred and fifty gems from the achievement and also, um, that's not very difficult to do. However, I want to do it in such a way by, whereby I'll be able to show you guys some uh, awesome raids rather, rather than just some town hall snipings. So this is another raid that I did just snipe this town hall and also getting the resources, 170,000 gold. So the next attack was uh, done live, uh, this particular one. So sometimes I'll be able to show you guys uh, some live raid. Sometimes I'll be showing you guys some uh, replays because um, live raid, sometimes I forget to <laughs> record it. And also sometimes uh, my uh, recorder actually crashed. So I have to record it from my replace alone. So yeah, back to the raid. So as you can see, I'm focusing on the archer towers because once the archer towers goes down, I just have to drop my clan castle which contains minions. And then eventually they'll just take out the whole base, even taking out the ground attacking uh, defenses such as the cannons and also the moda. So now just carrying on and doing a 3 star easily with the minions that I was given. So why I choose to use minions in my clan castle is because they help out to take out the defenses really easily, especially those ground attacking defenses. So now as you can see, I remove one obstacle over there and then just continuing collecting some stuff and requesting for level 5 or 6 minions only. And my clan castle, they will be filled within a few seconds by my clan mates who are always there to help me, such as uh, Benedict who has now given me level 6 minions. So thank you Benedict for giving me the minions. So now just doing more upgrades on the walls, uh, trying to get them all to level 4 as uh, level 4 will be the max level for my current Town Hall level of Town Hall 4. So level 4 walls, they are pretty okay for defense right now, especially at such a low uh, leak level. So not to worry about the leak itself when your walls are pretty strong, people look at it and they will go, oh no, I think I better not attack it. They will just skip the base and look for someone who is stronger. And of course, the defenses also do play a part. So I will be focusing on them in probably the next few episodes. As for now, I'm just focusing on the storages because they are more important to me because I need to have a higher capacity because it's rather easy to fill up your storages to full, especially with such a low capacity. If you look on the top right, my elixir is currently at the cap 56,000 now. So I've tried to upgrade more elixir storages so that I could increase the capacity. So just carrying on with another attack. This attack was really huge in a loot. 208,000 and 206,000 uh, gold and elixir respectively. So I was focusing more on the... Uh, mines and the collectors because uh, they were full as you can see and also the storages if you look on the left side the one that is uh, just next to the motor is empty and also the outside one as you can see is also empty so you can tell from that that the storages would rather rather be empty and also the 
mines and the pumps, you can see that they are full. The small little crate over there, the small little box, you can see that the gold and the elixir, they are full. So I did mention in my tutorial, in my farming tutorial, as to how to notice, how to look at where the resources are located at. So if you guys want to take a look at it, I'll put a link in the description below to check it out also. So yeah, the next one, uh, you can see this one, the storages, there are gold in it. So it's slightly filled and also the gold mines, they are also slightly filled. So with just a 97,000 uh, gold and also 44,000 elixir, I roughly know the resources are located as you can see the storages they are slightly full and also the mines they are also slightly full so they are roughly like 50 50 so just uh, continuing the attack deploying my barbarians in front first and then after that my archers behind to shoot over the wall as mentioned and then after that just continue the attack with my minions flying in and then just ending the battle right now because i don't think i could get a town hall but the resources was really nice so the next attack this one <laughs> was a uh, pretty funny when i saw the name brandon the clan yolo without any badge so obviously it was an inactive uh base and to see my name uh, being raided by myself it was a uh, pretty funny because at the same time i was thinking hmm, my main account there after that look it can't be i was like a bit stunned and a bit blur so yeah i raided myself my twin so a lot of resources in this base are uh, just uh, read all the way so sorry brandon my twin for attacking you but of course i need the resources maybe you have already retired or maybe quit from clash so we are back to our base again uh, doing more upgrades on the wall trying to get all to level four so uh, upgrading more walls is really fun especially now with such a low uh, amount to upgrade the walls especially next time it'll get really tough it will be more challenging next time uh once i get to like maybe a level seven or level eight wall you will see that the process will be more uh, tedious and more tiring also because the goal will be really difficult to get however with the new feature added that you could upgrade your walls using go and elixir after level 8 walls is really nice as compared to me last time i upgraded my main accounts level 11 walls to max using only go because last time supercell only allowed us to upgrade our walls using go whereas now upgrading with go and elixir i'm pretty sure it'll be much easier and faster too so that's something that i'm looking forward to to reach to maybe a level 8 wall as soon as possible then i can use both elixir and go wisely to upgrade the walls really quickly but of course this is not going to be as fast as my main account because i'm not focusing and spending too much time on this because i'm focusing on other stuff too at the same time i'm not using any gems whereas my main account i did use uh, gems and started to boost after i've maxed my base to uh, level 9 walls level 11 i boost all the way to max it up so yeah now we are looking back into the rate this rate was rather easy uh, a lot of the structures all spread out so dropping just one archer onto each of the structure and some barbarians around it to just take out some of the structures outside first before uh, entering the base on the right side and then just uh, using my minions to try to take out some of the resources too and getting more percentages trying not to lose the attack so just uh, carry on and to just speed things up a little we just skip some of the parts so as now you can see the rate is almost going to be over with uh, 40 percent right now so just skipping ahead and just to let my barbarians take out that last gold mine so yeah just ending the battle right now with a 65 percent on the percentage itself so back to another attack alone as you can see this one was also high in resources i did uh, do a lot of skips because uh, i have to do a lot of nicks just to find a certain basis do around maybe uh, 10 to 20 nicks before i find such a base to attack so just continue this attack as you can see i took out the archer towers first and then focusing on the air defense on the left side so that my minions can go in safely without uh, being uh, damaged at all so the top archer tower has already been taken out and just just skipping ahead again uh, getting the resources isn't too difficult as now you can see i've stole like around 100 over thousand from this attack itself just doing the three star alone collecting all the 150,000 uh, gold from the attack so if we take a look at my attack log we slowly scroll down you can see that i've done a lot of attacks for the past few hours uh, not doing it constantly maybe just going on and off on and off just to do a little bit attacks here and there and then uh, getting the resources slowly as now this isn't a need to rush the goal because uh, the walls are really easy to upgrade and also there are in any uh, builders for me to use so i'm trying to get to the third and the fourth builder as soon as possible so now as you can see the walls are max can't upgrade anymore the next level go wall i will require to upgrade my tower which is being upgraded right now so now i'm going to share with you guys a small little trick that i do of how to increase my goal capacity so now as you can see i'm getting a decoration a national flag which costs hundred thousand gold however when i sell it i get only ten thousand gold back so this is a method that i use to can say stock up gold into my decoration so when i sell 
them, I'll get 10,000 back. I only do this when I do not need gold and my gold is like maxed out. And also when I do not need gold to upgrade anything, especially my walls, as mentioned before, my walls were actually maxed already. So I couldn't upgrade any more stuff. So I just stock up into the decorations alone. So later you will, guys will actually see more of it. I stock up until like around 20 over flex. So now as you can see, I'm doing more attacks. This attack was really fast. Uh, done uh, really quickly especially my cc i contained one balloon with me uh, which was really awesome to take out the defense so i was thinking whether to use one balloon with a uh, five minions or to change it up to use seven minions instead so uh, as you can see i'm getting more decorations because the goal is just uh, too overwhelming as you can see i'm at seventy five thousand now so since i was left with one day nine hours still my town hall is ready i just took the opportunity to stock up more gold into my decorations i wish i could actually use it on the pekka statue and also the other statue alone however um, you need to reach to a higher level before you can actually use them so stocking up all on national flags which will actually give me uh two hundred and fifty thousand go when I actually sell them all. However, it costs 2.5 million to get all of them. So uh, that's the sacrifice that I have to make, which is a 2.25 million go uh, sacrifice. However, if I do not sacrifice this go, I basically the go will also overflow when I go and do my attacks. However, if I'm lazy and I do not, do not go and do my attacks, then of course uh, I won't do this method. Uh, I only do this when the go is uh, overflowing and then just stock them up onto the, the decorations. So this is a method that you guys can use too if you guys want to try it out. However, um, I won't recommend it if you guys are desperately in need of gold and do not have much time to actually clash to farm uh, at this particular rate itself. So yeah, now let's take a look at the rate itself. Now uh, deploying some minions to take out the gold mine just to a little speed things up again um, because this part is relatively a no-brainer. The minions will just fly in to just uh, take out the defenses. However, the minions will definitely be taken out by the archer tower over there and eventually I just have to end the raid just getting the gold alone. So now we are back to our base again, getting more flex as mentioned. So if you guys want to use this method, just go ahead. And of course, uh, if you guys are going to complain and say that this is a stupid method because you're going to spend 90 percent of your uh, resources, this and that. I mean, uh, what do you want me to do? I mean, this is the only way that I can actually stock up the goal uh, since the resource capacity storages are already max. So this is a method that I always use whenever I'm preparing for the next town hall level so that when my next town hall level I'm uh, at that particular level itself, I would have minimum of 200,000 or even uh, 300 over 1,000 if I have the other two uh, decorations ready for me to use to be able to use them for the next level. So this is a method that I really love to use. Now going back to the raid, I use my barbarians and archers to take out the archers tower first. After that, deployed my clan castle which contains 7 minions on the top right. And then after that, uh, they just continue to clear the structures. However, the air defense didn't go down and that's the one that's going to take out all my minions. So as now you can see the level 1 uh, air defense, although it's only level 1, but it takes 2 shots to take out the minions. So they went down really quickly with just 4 minions left. The next one has just gone down again. So just only 2 minions, they will be all gone in just a matter of seconds. Town Hall has just gone down. And then eventually uh, the troops somehow or rather they just... Uh, do it in such a way whereby they manage to take out all the defenses. In fact, the air defense was still there until like almost the end of the battle. But I was quite impressed by the barbarian over there trying to take down the motor. If the motor didn't go down, they would have done splash damage to my archers, which actually would take out all my archers, not being able to do the three stars. So yeah, the heroic barbarian did the job well, getting us the three stars. So now back to our base, getting more decorations again. Now this is a Japan flag. And I always plan ahead as to what I want to upgrade next so that I do not spend all my resources on stuff that I do not want to spend on. And eventually not being able to have enough resources to upgrade the things that I need. So like for example, this one I upgraded my elixir storage with just the remaining 40,000 gold that I had left. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and do stay tuned for the next episode and clash on.